All right, this is a 2004 KX85, and the bike is having a problem with the shift lever. The shift lever is sticky. When you go to shift down in first, it stays in the down position, and then you shift up to second, and it stays in the up second position. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this clutch, pack, and just make an inspection of the back side of the shift shaft where it bumps up against the right hand outer clutch cover and see what's going on what's binding it up and uh this is the process of just going ahead and pulling this clutch cover the outer clutch cover and pulling the clutch basket and the plates and the friction plates and pull that basket out of the way so we can actually make an visual inspection of it and see what's going on inside this motor, what's keeping the shift lever bound up and actually get to the root of the problem and what's actually going on here. Okay, now when you remove the clutch springs and you go to take that pressure plate off, be very careful when you pull that pressure plate because on the back side of that clutch rod or clutch push rod between the pressure plate bearing and the clutch push rod, that there there's a flat washer in there that you could lose easily. So you'll see when I pull that, you'll see that little flat washer. Just make sure you keep an eye on that thing. Don't lose it. Make sure you remember its orientation, that it goes between that pressure plate bearing and the push rod. Okay, now this uh, inner clutch hub is held on by a 24 millimeter nut and it's usually torqued on pretty good. So be very careful when you go to back this thing off. If you're using the impact and you don't have an actual tool to hold the clutch, the inner clutch hub from spinning, you can use a rag, but be very careful because it's dangerous. You can get your finger uh they're usually torqued on pretty hard so i wouldn't advise you removing it like this but uh without having the tool myself this is kind of what i have to do kind of got to take a little gamble here to get it but she'll come loose but just be very careful it's easy to get your fingers and if you can avoid doing it like this then then avoid it 
And also, if you do have the tool to hold the inner clutch up, be careful when you go to clamp it on that you don't over tighten it when you clamp it because if you do you take a risk of actually warping the inner clutch hub and that's not good either so just be patient take your time keep your fingers out of harm's way use a rag to cover that thing and make sure you got if you got it a good way to secure it without tearing your stuff up uh usually if you put the friction plates in the uh clutch pack back in it'll add a little more resistance to help you help you break it loose because that hub just wants to spin freely with nothing in there to give it any kind of resistance so just be patient here don't get your fingers caught in the clutch hub trying to rush to get it done uh take your time be safe don't do what i do Okay, so right here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I made it a visual inspection and I can already see it's bound on the inner clutch cover. It's hidden the back side of that shift shaft. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and back off these bolts on the lower portion of that case where it's got the most tension against that shift shaft. And if it frees up some play on that shift arm, the little shift lever, then I'm pretty sure... What's happening is there's just not enough clearance there in that case. It's actually touching that backside of the shift shaft and binding it up, keeping it from freely moving. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I got to remove this brake, uh, brake lever because I got to get to the bolts behind it to loosen up the lower portion of this right hand inner clutch cover so that I can verify if I loosen the tension off of it, does the shift lever become unbound? And if that happens, then I know that there's a problem with the tolerance is somewhere. Now, I'm pretty sure I know what's going on here. I use liquid gasket on the main cases to seal them. And then I use liquid gasket on this right hand inner clutch cover. And I believe the tolerance is too tight and that's that's the difference it needs it just needs a paper gasket on the right hand inner clutch cover just so that tolerance is opened up you know a thousand or whatever just a small amount so there's enough clearance there to keep that shifter from being bound up on the inner clutch cover case 